Everybody, first of all, make sure that your Sagio is correct. So many. Hey. Pressing on the side again, Skagashira is centered to the body. Michelle, with the left hand, thumb goes to the Tsuba. Sagio should never be in front of the blade. Center of the blade, center on my body. Slight angle. Right hand comes back, left hand, palm down, just push the Sagio up. Bowing in Kode. One, two, down. One, two. Machine did you. Right hand goes across, grab the Sagio. Palm up. Left hand, palm down. Don't cross the Koji. Up. Into your Obi. Around. Under, left hand on the belt, all juice. Thumb on the tuba, one shot in. Shoot. Don't adjust anything. Don't move it around. Now you tie your sagi up. Because you didn't you, of course, it's on the right side. And then you would start your pata. So when you finish, you finish your kata and you sit down. Don't put your hand on the tuba. Keep it on your on your thighs. Release the sagio. Left hand pushes out. Right hand thumb on the tuba. There's two ways to do this. Actually, two ways. One is your next finger goes on, keeping the sake out here, down, cross, forehead. Second method, I'm oh, sorry, then you would continue from here, and down. That's the way that we do it in our dojo. Some other dojos. It's still stuck in your belt, push it out, and then we'll gather it, put it out like this, and down. The problem is it cannot be in front of the side, it has to be behind, so it'll come back like that. And then bow. Again, that's a dojo preference. I was taught like this. One hand again, palm down. Two. Right, up. Forty-five degrees. Pick it up. About half to two thirds of the way down. Down. And across. Then we rise up. Same as closing as we do the opening. Okay. Three steps back to the left foot. One, two, three, turn to the right. 